So continuing on with this um, presentation, I will be talking about the um, explain to you the EFE matrix or the external factor evaluation matrix. There are only three slides in here, so focusing directly on the steps to come up with the with this um, with this matrix. Yeah. So before I move on, let me just um, talk about what is external factor evaluation matrix. So external factor evaluation matrix is one of the strategy strategy tools to use to use to examine companies' external environment. So for this matrix, it is focused on identifying the opportunities and threats of the organization. Yeah. So if you remember um, a couple of while a couple of um, a while ago, we talked about the IFE, and um, we were saying that um, IFE is focused on identifying the strength and weaknesses of the organization which is internally driven or internal internal factors of the organization these are the steps to come up with the EFE matrix yeah there are five steps similar to IFE okay and um, to explain this I will go over to the next slide Okay, now this is how the um, EFE matrix look like. It's similar to IFE matrix. Yeah, it has some um, columns and it has rows, and each of these are indicated uh, or properly labeled. Okay, in here we have the opportunities, we have the effects in here, we have the weight, rating, weighted score, and so forth. Yeah. <clears throat> now for step one is basically a listing of the factors for each quadrant. Okay, you'd have to add you'd have to have identified at least 10 uh, or more or more for you to be able to list at least 10 of the factors in here. Okay, now where do you get the factors from? Well, you need to analyze the external environment and um, you can use uh, Porter's five force forces to do this. The next step is the um, step two. This is to give weight but to assign weight to each each and every one of the factors for both quadrants all right and then after we have analyzed uh, after we have um, assigned uh, the weight for each of this factor you total them up it has to come it has to equal one this is the rule of the thumb similar to um, IFE matrix okay the third step is to provide the rating on the ratings now the ratings in external metrics it refers to how effectively the current company strategy responds to opportunities and threats okay the external uh, factors the numbers ranges from four to one all right so um, Four being the major strength, um, and uh, one being the major weakness. Okay, so you'll have to uh, figure out, you'll have to analyze the um, the organization in order to be able to decide which one calls for which one um, actually uh, which one actually deserves a major strength of four a rating of four and which one deserves a rating of one which is the major weakness weakness yeah so this again this rating are assigned subjectively you must have um, studied the case you must have uh, analyzed the um, external environment to be able to come up with the ratings okay now the last step is to sum the summary okay so the way this story go ahead and um, and add them up all right and it should come you should have the uh, total weighted score now again as in the as in the IFE the total score of 2.5 is an average score okay 
2.5 is an average score. So if you look at this, um, this example in this uh, particular slide, this is Facebook. You can uh, take it from the textbook uh, case. The total weighted score of Facebook in here is 2.89. So this basically indicates how well the company is responding to the current and expected factors in its external environment is above 2.5 yeah so this is what it basically indicates now in the inter, in the external evaluation a low score indicates that company strategies are not well designed yeah and um, it is not able to meet the opportunities or defend against the the company threats all right, this is what basically the low score indicates in external um, evaluation. If you still recall, um, we discussed a while ago that um, in the external factor evaluation, a low score basically indicates that a company is weak against the against its competitors. So this is the the differences uh, in the in the explanation or in the indication of low score low score in the EFE and uh, IFE so so this is how um, basically uh, you come up with the EFE, mat e EFE matrix yeah so follow the steps we discussed earlier there are five steps so um, it you will you should be able to um, come up with this uh, EFE matrix